so that it does not uh, give us a feedback on it. We also do this in consideration of our South African friends who we, so that it does not, uh, uh, who we sympathize with our South African friends who are currently going through load shedding and which is interfering with their connectivity. Uh, we want to make sure that we have something that they can also be part of and participate on. Once again, thank you so much for being on this call tonight. Uh, we had um, a, a chat earlier on with uh, Thandi. If you remember uh, Thandi, she was uh, the main star last week, well, the last few weeks. And from uh, reliable sources, uh, Thandi is on, uh, is on her way to Dubai. So she, she's parking for Dubai. And uh, so tonight, uh, yours truly is going to be your uh, trainer for tonight. Uh, one of our other team leaders, uh, Bilal Ajamu, is already in Dubai. And uh, I, I, te I tell you what, it, it's such an exciting thing to see not only our, our leaders uh, uh, leading us by way of telling us what needs to be done, but they are leading us by example. Uh, uh, all the pay setters that are on this call tonight, uh, thank you for being leaders uh, that are leading by example. Uh, I know that uh, uh, Esther, uh, who is a pay setter, gold is on a flight. Uh, I know I am on a flight, and uh, there is a lot of uh, a lot of other people. I think on on my flight we have something like six team members on the plane from Team Simba, which I consider to be an incredible, incredible thing that uh, they, they are flying out so many uh, people from Team Simba, from the diaspora, from Africa. We have people coming from, uh, from all over Africa. I know uh, 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 two people flying out of Nairobi, I think three of them, uh, I think four uh, out of Nairobi. I know we have diaspora fr flying out um, from, uh, uh, all the way down from uh, Sydney, Australia. So it's a lot of good things happening, really good things. Okay, now let's see what happens here. As usual, uh, we don't wanna, we wanna make sure that, um, that uh, our gadgets here don't start playing up. Okay, now to, tonight, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of um, an informal uh, checkup from the neck up. That's what I always say, because what we are providing and what we are offering here on Team Simba, the training that we are offering here, is not just the techs, uh, the, the technical aspects of, uh, of DAISY and Endotech, but we are also uh, broadening our way of thinking. We are broadening our knowledge base. Uh, because we uh, we we want to grow as a person, I want to grow as a person, and I, I want to enhance my knowledge base. And uh, I was thinking about uh, about uh, education. So let me go ahead and share this uh, um, uh, screen with you. Uh, one of my favorites, absolute favorites, a uh, 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 trainer. Uh, I don't want to call him an inspirational speaker or motivational speaker because he was a whole lot more than that, Jim Rohn. Uh, he was, he was a, a, an asset to our generation. He's no longer operating in this dimension, but he's got a lot of uh, material there for personal development. Uh, uh, and uh, I was thinking about uh, one of the quotes that uh, he, he gave to us before he left us, which is, formal education will make you a living Self-education will make your fortune. Isn't it unfortunate that um, our educational systems, the world over, I'm not talk, uh, talking about any one country, but the world over, uh, the education system is uh, geared to, uh, to produce employees uh, that will be either in the private sector, you know, feed the private sector uh, or the public sector in as far as uh, working for the government is concerned. 
but there is hardly anything taught about uh, uh, wealth creation in financial freedom. Now, if I, if I told they had offered me financial one and financial two in my university, I would have taken both of them. In fact, I would have taken all four uh, because you and I recognize the fact that um, uh, for those who have jobs, you have a job because you have a formal education, you have a certificate that uh, satisfies you to get that job. But that job, if you look at your last five, 10 years of working that job, uh, I don't know of any uh, position outside of the CEO and maybe one or two of the top echelons uh, in, a, in, a, in a corporate that literally uh, gives uh, an employee financial freedom. A, a, a job pays you as little as it can to get away with it. If they paid you any less than that, you'd quit. Because um, uh, the, the employee-employer system here is geared and garnered to, to benefit the corporate um, uh, shareholders. So they want to maximize on every single input they, 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 they put into the company, inclusive human input or the labor uh, aspect of things. So they, they, they buy your time at wholesale and then they retail it and they make uh, a profit off of that. So formal education, yes, it definitely can make your living. You need good education for you to get a good job. That's the old system of things. But how many know that it's not working? How many know that it's proven not to work? It's proven to sustain the corporate sector, sustain those who are shareholders and those who uh, who literally own uh, that corporate or that, that company. Uh, if you think about uh, uh, here in the United Kingdom where we are, uh, take an industry like, for example, uh, the oil industry where everybody is talking about high energy prices. I mean, everybody is, you know, gas, electric, and petrol is uh, high, very, very high. But look at uh, look at any of these companies. BP just uh, announced their, their, <laughs> their returns. Their returns are the largest uh, quarter returns in history. They are raking in billions and billions of pounds uh, while everybody else is, uh, is suffering. And I'm not saying this because we want to go social, but what I am saying is, is, is that formal education will make your living so that you can, you can help build somebody else's dream and they are living the dream while you're struggling with whatever it is. So self-education is vital adding to your knowledge base self education is what can uh, and, and is what can set you free financially and make you a fortune uh, we we had this um from viani the last time uh let's see where did this go i told you this thing there you go don't mess around with me please uh, technology, behave yourself. Thank you. <laughs> we're on a Zoom call here, and we we want to we want to flow. So in times of change, and this this made such an uh, a, a, an import or an impact in in myself that I thought I'll bring it up again. Uh, the first time I had it really was when Vianney was was uh, was training here. Vianney Jones is one of our uh, paysetter leaders who. Uh, who pours uh, her knowledge base, her skill set, and a lot of good stuff to uh, to us here. And she shared this some time some time ago about uh, what one of her, in fact, one of her key things as far as um, a philosophy is, uh, and that is this: a, a quote from Eric Hoffer, "In times of change." Learners inherit the earth while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. I, I, I don't know uh, how many uh, of you can uh, agree with me that the world is changing so drastically and so quickly that if all we depend on right now, if all we, uh, we rely on right now is what we learned, 
is our certificates and our degrees and in, in our, in our college certificates and whatever training it is that we had before. If that is all we are relying on, uh, we will find ourselves beautifully equipped to deal with the world that no longer exists. When, I, when, when, when you graduated from whatever it is that you graduated in and you got a certificate, I can guarantee you that that level of exposure and information and knowledge base that you had when you graduated two, three, five, or 30 years ago, uh, it's been overtaken by, uh, by new technologies, new advancements in your field that if you just depend on uh, what you learned, you will find yourself beautifully equipped with a certificate and a hat and a gown, but you'll be dealing with a world that no longer exists. My wife and I, when we were getting married, we knew one person, one person who owned a mobile phone, one in our generation, in our time, we have seen such drastic, dramatic change in telephony. I remember, uh, I remember going uh, when I was in when I was in school, going to book for a phone or for a phone call. You 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 had to dial the the telephone exchange and place a booking for a call, and the telephone exchange person will tell you, "Okay, come back at two o'clock." you will be connected that time. And the phone head that you are using was not, did not have a, a, a dial face. It had a handle on the side that you turned to alert the telephone exchange person that you, you, you know, somebody is trying to get their attention. This is, in our, this is in our time. This is in our generation. So it is so, so important that uh, we, we, we keep ourselves self-educated, self-aware of the changes that are happening in the world today so that we can equip ourselves to succeed and to grow ourselves financially uh, in the world we live in, not in the world that was, but the world that we're living in today. You've got to equip yourself for today to be able to succeed today. Uh, and um, uh, I, I know, uh, you know, coming from Kenya, coming from Africa, we, we had our systems, our cultural systems of, um, you know, evaluating a person's wealth. I know in the olden times, you know, your, 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 your asset base was, uh, was uh, how many goats and how many, how many sheep you had. I mean, the bigger your herds, the bigger the person you are, the more wealthy based on your asset base. And that asset base was your, 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 you know, your cattle, uh, your sheep and goats. It, it is important to understand that uh, we, we must stay current with the asset base, the, the assets that are with us today. It, it is important to, uh, to get the value of the assets that are available today. Because when we were, you know, when we were growing up, you know, a house was a, a, was considered a massive, massive asset. When you when you bought yourself a house, man, I mean, or you built yourself a house, you, you know, you're the big man, you're, you know, you're the big whatever, kahuna in the, in the village. Uh, but right now, the assets and the asset basis, they, uh, they, 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 are, they are changing and the value of those assets have eclipsed what we thought was asset before. I don't know, you know, maybe you can, you can in your notes, write what assets, what, what constitutes an asset to you? What do you consider to be an asset? A house, a, a, you know, it's called real estate. It's fantastic, it's good. Uh, what else, what else, what, is, what else is an asset? A, an asset, you know, if you listen to Robert Kiyosaki, an asset is, is that that brings you income, not that which takes away income from you or takes resources from you. It is that which earns you a revenue or brings you an income. If it, if it costs you, then it is a liability. It is not an asset. Whether it is a house, 
and and he's he is a humongous uh, you know real estate person and he talks a, a lot about uh, what those assets and what uh, what 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 classes of assets even in real estate they, they are uh, so wh what would you consider asset what is your no how is your knowledge on uh, the assets of today you know uh, when it comes to what is earning people uh, revenue and because the more you educate yourself, the more you learn on what those assets are, the more you can make informed decision to capitalize and maximize on uh, the assets that are available to you today. We all know that we are here because of a company called Endotech. Some people thought, no, we are here because of Daisy. In reality, we are here because of the company called endotech and i will take a little a little bit of time and hopefully this gadget of mine can behave itself yes it is beginning to behave itself and stop sharing here so that i can i can slow this down because all of us are at different levels different stages of our growth in the knowledge base where daisy and where endotech is concerned. The company that we're dealing with, and this, this helps me to understand this more. And the more I learn, the more I listen, the more I rub shoulders with people that are so very well versed in this industry, the more I am, my knowledge base is increasing and I'm getting to fully really understand uh, how big the magnitude of the opportunity that we have and and to be able to articulate that because once i learn once we learn we can be able to articulate what we know to others and especially when we know uh, uh, we are acquainted we are uh, we are skilled that's what i was looking for we are skilled in what it is that we have. We have an incredible, incredible opportunity. So let me take you to who we are really dealing with. And then we'll talk about Daisy in just a minute because who we are dealing with, let me go ahead and uh, let me go back here and open this. Yes, that is okay. And then come back here and share this. Who we are really dealing with is the company by the name of Endotech. This is the company we are dealing with. So if somebody, if you, if you are sharing this opportunity with somebody, uh, share, uh, this is how I'm sharing this opportunity now with people, now that I'm becoming better versed, better knowledgeable about the opportunity we have. Uh, because like, like, you know, most people, the first thing they want to do is go Google. When you tell them Daisy, guess what they first do? They go Google and then Google slaps them with all the bad press uh, because Google is not biblical truth. There are people who, who are there out uh, telling lies about what it is that we are doing here. And for a, for a prospect, they don't know what is the truth and what is not the truth. So the way we articulate what we know actually matters a lot. So the company we are dealing with is a company by the name Endotech. Their website is endotech.io. And let me go ahead and minimize that so that I can see. Uh, um, you know, you can see about Endotech. You can, you can, you you have all these live links of of what Endotech of what Endotech does, what it offers. Okay, what uh what is what is the product that Endotech offers? And it shows you here, we're talking about assets and getting to know about your assets and how you can uh, get knowledgeable, increase your knowledge base where assets are concerned. You see the assets that are listed on Endotech's website are BTC, Ethereum, XRP, BNB, oil, silver, and gold. I know some of us on this call might not have fully understood the magnitude of endotech and what it's already doing and what it has been doing over the last 11 or so years it has been offering a product 
if you click on Bitcoin here, for example, click on it. Uh, let me know if at all has changed uh, somebody, Esther or Jamie. Yes, you're on Bitcoin. It's Fantastic, Bitcoin. thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it shows you when you click on that asset, it shows you what, uh, what Bitcoin BTC what it offers and how you can benefit from it. So it tells you, you know, a little bit of a read up here, institution proven uh, automated BTC. So it offers a product of automated trading algos. It offers for Bitcoin holders, it offers an automated trading algos. And explore our algos, you can see, you can explore what, what uh, strategies it has. But for the asset, Ethereum, it tells you what Ethereum is, uh, what it does, the bots and the live Ethereum pricing talks about institutionally proven automated Ethereum trading algos. If you tell me to trade, forget it. My wife tried to get me into it together with, with her friend called Esther Pat. They tried to get me to think about trading. I said, I, number one, I don't have the knowledge of how to trade and I don't have the interest uh, to learn how to trade. That is me. And I, I said, and I don't have the patience to sit glued to a laptop chasing candles. I don't have that patience. And I was honest with her. She did a little bit of doubling around with it with, with Esther. I said, um, get rich for me, please, while you're at it. But now when Endotech was introduced to me and I said, oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So I can be together with a company that has automated trading system, uh, algos and I don't need to do anything. Yep, that's what we have, okay? That is who Endotech is. That's the product that they have been offering institutions. They have been offering a high net worth people to trade in assets that are available, including oil. All trading, bought and oil pricing, institutional proven, automated all trading algorithms are being offered by Endotech to high net worth and institution, of course, also the retail. For you as retail, let's look at what the pricing, the pricing was uh, when it comes to you using Endotech's uh, product. And Endotech's product is FinTech or financial technology. It allows you to uh, be hooked up to their technology for purposes of getting trades uh, that are automated through uh, Endotech's algos. Look at this. If you wanted to, and you can, you, you still can go directly to Endotech as a retail person, right? Look at that. As a retail person, uh, there's a 15% subscription fee as well as a 30% performance fee. Uh, and these are the asset classes that are available to, to you as a, as, a, as a retail person. Remember we said assets are what that are gonna earn you money and assets are, that are being offered on Endotech are also uh, listed on endotech.io. I clicked earlier, therefore you could see them. So Ethereum Alpha, Ethereum Beta, BTC Alpha, BTC Beta, uh, Ethereum BTC Alpha, Ethereum uh, stroke BTC Beta. These are the, the asset classes that are being offered by Endotech to retail people. Notice there is no Forex there. We'll talk about that in a little bit. There's no Forex trading there uh, currently in um, in Endotech. Now for you, you're coming in as a retail person, you need to have a minimum of $50,000 that is in your account or in your wallet. And that minimum remains in your wallet. All you do is when you pay the subscription uh, fee is that 
an API is given you, a connection is given you so that the funds that are in your wallet remain in your wallet yet are being traded via the API or via the connection that you're paying the subscription for. Got it? If you are VIP like some of our uh, top leaders here in DAISY, there's zero um, uh, subscription fee. But look at this. For people who are not in DAISY, 50% performance fee. That means if you make $100,000, $50,000 profit is yours, $50,000 $50, go to Endotech. That was, and that is the product that is being offered to VIP people. When it comes to Endotech's VIP, I think the, the performance fee is either 20 or 30%. Uh, I just saw like Vianney uh, came in, she'll let us know uh, as a leader. But for, and this also shows you what it is that uh, a VIP has a opportunity in trading in, talks about the altcoins, uh, you know, the strategies that are including, I included there are US Alpha, all those are available. Watch this, VIP available for those with a minimum of three strategies running and a minimum of 50,000 connected balance. So for you and I, Oh, let me not talk about you because you may have $50,000 lying somewhere in your bank looking for something to do. I don't, just being honest here, I don't, don't have 50,000 that I could move over to my Binance account and uh, 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 connect VIP at least three strategies uh, and uh, get to utilize Endotex. Uh, endotex, uh, uh, you know, uh, product called the algo trading. But look at, if I told you an institution, say you are an institution, your high net worth, uh, it's a flat 125,000 US dollar subscription fee per annum, per year. This is per year for every $5 million package. That means you come in, your wallet has 5 million, then your, your, um, <laughs> your uh, uh, your subscription is $125,000 every year. Hold on. Plus a 25% performance fee. Now, I don't know about you, but this kind of like knocks literally every one of us who are on this call. Like uh, <laughs> you, 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 we, we don't even begin to qualify uh, to be able to do what is on offer the performance that has been has been incredible. We're not gonna go there with Endotech. We're looking at uh, performance. Of course, like I said, there's a lot of information on endotech.io. This is who we are dealing with. But the main thing that I wanted to bring out here is that uh, Endotech made a decision of what they want to do. What they want to do is that they want to upgrade their product. What is their product? Artificial intelligence. The current one that they have is working fine. They decided that they want to get a better performing artificial intelligence. For that, they needed what we call a, a, a capital. They needed $10 million to fund all the quants and scientists that uh, will take time to gather all the information to feed and to build this new artificial intelligence. And they needed uh, 500 million US dollars or USDT uh, for purposes of testing this new AI that is going through that development. They needed half a billion US dollars. They thought, what shall we do? And uh, sharing this again. Dr. Anna scratched her head, scratched her head, and she said, what do we do? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the artificial intelligence that we want to upgrade, we're gonna to, to build. We're gonna, we're gonna build it and it's gonna be good. And I've highlighted the second point. This new 
AI is going to be the number one AI trading performer in all major markets. It's so important. Like I said, we educate ourselves. We're not just talking about one asset class. We're not just talking about crypto. We're not just talking about Bit Bitcoin. We're not just talking about Forex. We're talking about all major markets. This is in your presentation when you're doing the presentation uh, where this is concerned. So Dr. Anna, the CEO and the founder of, of Endotech decided this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to create and develop the next AI, okay? The next AI is going to be better by four times what we currently have. Hmm. Where, do, where do we go for this funding? There are two alternatives. There is an alternative of going to a... A venture capitalist, you know, some big guys, four or five of them that have very deep pockets and that can fund the 10 million. That's nothing. That's 3 million a piece. And we, we, we got we got Dr. Anna her, her, her $10 million. And every venture capitalist always comes with conditions of what they want, you know, for their funding. They, they want this, they want that, they want the other. <laughs> Uh, but th then uh, we meet our founders. We meet Jeremy Roma, our, our, our founder. We meet uh, Ed Edward Kemchan, our co-founder. Ilya Martin Manin, our co-founder. We meet these three. I call them, we, they call themselves, I don't call them the three amigos. You know, they, they came together and they said, hang on a minute, uh, especially Edward and Jeremy, uh, they had known each other from other businesses. and." Edward was already a client for many years of Endotech. He has his own trading uh, as a retail customer with Endotech for many years. They had a relationship with uh, Dr. Anna, you know, a business relationship uh, with Dr. Anna. And, uh, uh, you know, Edward knew and trusted 100% Endotech because he has a lot of money in there. You know, you, you, you saw how much you need for just one uh, you know, just one account, you need at least 50,000 uh, US dollars in your wallet for you to be connected. So uh, 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 Edward and Jeremy met somewhere and they talked and they chatted and, and they said, why don't we uh, talk to Dr. Anna about we funding her endotech, the amount they need, the money they need. What do they need? 10 million? Okay. How do we fund this? We find we fund this by creating what is called a crowd funder called Daisy. Now, crowd funder. I've had people ask me, "What is a crowdfunding model? What is a crowdfunding model?" Crowdfunding model allows people to contribute to the development of endotech trading AI, and they receive what at least two things. Number one, profit rewards as well as equity. Let me escape this one. Let me show you this. Because it is so important that we, we get versed with a, elucidating our, hold on a minute, our opportunity to people who, number one, will come to you already predisposed to be negative. They're already on the negative before you've opened your mouth. So how do we, how do we uh, inform our new prospects of what we're doing and letting them know we, we're working with Endotech and this is what Endotech has been doing and this is what Endotech wants. So uh, our founders came up with a model uh, of us all participating because I don't know, maybe you have 50,000, you can work with Endotech. If you don't have a 50,000, if you have a hundred a hundred US dollars, then we can together combine and fund uh, Endotech. Let me show you this. Uh, this is where you go Wikipedia. Wikipedia talks about um, <laughs> crowdfunding projects. What projects have been founded by crowdfunding, because crowdfunding is not a novel idea that uh, uh, Edward and Ilya and Jeremy uh, came up with. No, this is 
uh, this is a model that is already in use, has been in use, has used, has been used to uh, uh, to fund and to come up uh, with the funds required for major major uh, uh, opportunities like Star Citizen. You know, is a video game. How much did they did they did they, <laughs> look? The target was two million. Look at how much they raised, five hundred and forty-two million. And of course, there is all the explanations there of what it is that they, they wanted and they got it from Kickstarter. Uh, I looked up Kickstarter over here, let's see. Even Wiki has something on, on Kickstarter, tells you who Kickstarter is, you know, it's an American public benefit corporation based in Brooklyn. Uh, uh, that means a global crowdfunding platform focused on creativity. That means if you are creative, you can go to, to Kickstarter and say, hey, I got this creative idea. I just need $10 million. Could you please fund me? They'll look at your creativity. they look at your papers. They look at it and they say, uh-uh, you don't qualify. Or they look at it and say, oh, yeah, we like that. Now we're going to fund you and we're going to involve our members to fund you. What are you going to give our members in return? That is exactly what we did. But I wanted to show you something because uh, crowdfunding is not a new thing, it is something that is being done. I saw when I was looking through this, I thought they found something called, do you know, did you know even Tron? Tron actually was crowdfunded. The Tron blockchain was crowdfunded. What we are using on the Tron network actually was a concept, was a project, was an idea in somebody's head who said, where shall we go for funds? Let's go crowdfunding. And they got, in 2017, they were looking for 70 million. They got 70 million through crowdfunding through Ethereum. But there's one that, I, I, I thought this is funny. So let me go, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make you smile since I found it was funny. Where uh, did I see it? Ah, we build the wall. I thought, we build the wall. I thought, that sounds interesting. What is it? So I came over here. Is the construction of the border barrier at the Mexico-United States. Guess how much they went? The, 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 yes. How much they wanted? They wanted a billion. That was their target. They got 25 million, 400. But they got it through. Anybody ever heard of a little company called, or a little group called GoFundMe? That's a crowdfunding model. So when somebody wants to make much of a crowdfunding model, we are not the originators of it. It, it, it. It's not a mystic thing. It's demystify that information for them. Tell them this is has been happening. Crowdfunding has been going on in uh, even Tron itself. And you can look it up on the internet. It's actually also a, a created uh, through crowdfunding. So when we as DAISY crowdfunders crowdfund Endotech, we receive profits we receive of the uh, funds that are, if I told there are any profits, by the way, uh, of, the, of the funds that are in live trading during the live testing and development. Like, I, like I, I mentioned earlier, you did notice that currently Forex is not available on the equity uh, as part of the assets in, in Endotech. Forex is not available because Forex AI has not yet been completed in as far as being developed. The AI we're talking about has not been, uh, has not been completed yet because what we did was to fund, oops, go back. What we did was to fund uh, Endotech and we are funding Endotech. Currently, we are at 4.2 million. We are climbing towards 10 million so that the bill of them going to the next level uh, where quants and all the, all the expenditure of uh, developing the next AI is concerned, uh, that's what they needed the money for to, up, to upgrade or to get a better performing AI. And like I said earlier, that better performing AI is now what is called the DAISY AI. DAISY stands for Decentralized 
artificial intelligence system. It is being developed by Endotech and Endotech is a breakthrough AI company, is a fintech company founded and led by Dr. Anna Baker. I thought that it is important that we articulate this so that when we approach uh, those that we are prospecting, we introduce them to Endotech first. We introduce them to the company. Uh, this is who we are dealing with. DAISY is just a smart contract bridging us, that is the community, and Endotech. It, in DAISY, because somebody asked me, where does DAISY store our money? DAISY doesn't store money as a bridge. <laughs> it, 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 it is a smart contract that executes all the codes that are uh, that are uh, that are coded had coded onto the blockchain when somebody uh, crowdfunds a hundred dollars the code called daisy kicks in and transacts that and it is sent to where it's supposed to go that which is supposed to go to uh, endotech goes to endotech that which is supposed to go to the, the referral system the bt system and uh, all that goes in, 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 in into the system because we have a smart contract called daisy which is a community of crowd funders that that is funding breakthrough financial technologies the first one is endotech and when we understand that and we articulate that then people begin to uh, number one better better verse with the opportunity better verse with a uh, with a with a company that has been in existence uh, since uh, 2012 and um and um it, it is it is so important it is so important that we we educate ourselves so that we can educate others Many people actually are opposing, them, opposing themselves because they do not understand, fully understand uh, what this whole opportunity is all about. It's about endotech and other opportunities that are coming. Uh, but for now, it is about endotech that is developing the next generation of artificial intelligence. And we are funding that through a smart contract called DAISY. We are a community that contributes towards uh, the funding of Endotech so that Endotech can do her thing. And what do we get in return? We get equity from tier two all the way to tier 10. When you crowdfund at tier two, you get a share in the 5% equity and so forth and so on. Plus, if at all there are any profits, have you noticed? that there has been a little bit like 600, four, six, 600 something <laughs> percent over the last 10 months. I, I, I forgot. By the way, I don't micromanage and micro look at my, my, my wallet every minute to see how we are performing because it will, the, the, the AI will do what it will do. And the AI is doing what it is doing. And what it is doing is simply incredible, has never been anything like that. And there is nothing I can say or do or nothing. All I do is focus myself in growing my knowledge base on what I can control, how I can expand my team, how I can grow my team, how I can help somebody go to the next level. That is what I, 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 I focus my energy on because what I have 100% trust on, on the founders. I have 100% trust on Endotech. And Endotech will do what Endotech is doing, which is literally killing it, as we say over the over here in the UK in the streets, we are killing it. Awesome. Now I saw Vu uh, jumping in because the next thing that I want us to talk about, let me just go ahead and make her a co-host. I know she may be in a situation, but just to be sure that uh, uh, she is at liberty to jump in at any time. That is the first thing I wanted to share with us about continuously adding uh, our knowledge base. Grow yourself uh, where Endotech, go to Endotech's website, spend time there, click on that. You will not mess anything. If you click on it, it will not get messed up. So just click on it and see what it does. 
so that you become well versed. Go find, go wiki. I just went to wiki and found a, a crowd funders, and I, it comes up with a whole list of people that companies that we are now familiar with, including the Tron blockchain, that were funded through crowd funds. So when somebody says, what is this a crowd fund? Oh, it's a crowd fund just like GoFundMe. And GoFundMe, actually, they have funded a lot of people uh, for their projects. But GoFundMe many times does not have benefits for those who are funding. But uh, when this, where this is concerned, when we fund Endotech, we get equity and then we get profits if at all it makes, it makes any. In fact, right now, let me just go ahead and check now that uh, you brought that up. I uh, haven't checked to see uh, where we are at the moment because Endotech has just been doing great stuff. I trust it 100%, so I don't look at it every minute. Uh, I let her do her thing, and then I go do my thing, and you do your thing, and everybody's happy. H-A-P-P-Y, that's how we spell it. 664.41%. Talking about let her do her thing, it's killing it. And it's going to continue killing it. And we cannot predict the future, but we are happy with what we have so far in the last 10 months, 664. Uh, 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 so I focus my energies and, and I focus myself on doing the things that I can do. What can I do? I can better myself when it comes to the knowledge base. I can improve myself so that I can share more effectively. Uh, and I, I, I can. Uh, 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 elucidate what we have uh, as far as an opportunity is concerned more effectively to people who are already not just critical thinking, but many of them are criticism thinking. They, they think from a negative and uh, uh, if at all I can offer information that is that is sound, that is solid, that is that is knowledgeable, there is a chance of building somebody and showing somebody, somebody something that we have. Before I open it up to Vu and anyone that may have an an input like like Esther, we we we, we acknowledge pay setters and above uh, whatever whatever lineage you have. We acknowledge you. We appreciate you. And of course, you have built a team, so you do know what it takes to build a team, and you are valuable to 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 Team Simba. So if you are if you are a pay setter, go always uh, drop me a message. We'll add you to a consultative group. And for those who are chasing to become a pay setter, gold, please do. We need more pay setters in Africa. We need more leaders out of Africa. We want to showcase Africa as the the mother continent. And we say the mother of all continents is showing up, and we want to do that together. That's why we have team. Team Simba. One other thing that I wanted to, to, uh, to, to do, and then I'll, I'll, I'll throw it wide open, is to say this. For those who are who have been upgrading uh, their tiers and they have gotten to tier five, the promotional pack uh, of tier five and above uh, ends on the 20th. That means there is a promotion currently. When you get to tier five, you can recontribute on that tier five, and 90% of your contribution goes to your live trade account, and only 10% goes to the crowd and gets you an equivalent number of shares, which is eight shares at tier five. So you get eight for your first contribution. And then when you recontribute, even though less funds went towards the sh your shares, you still get the same amount of shares, which is eight shares in the 5% equity. That opportunity avails itself for the next one week only. If you're planning on doing that, the, the chance is, uh, is yours uh, to exploit uh, for the next seven days or so. Uh, Vu, good to see you on the call. Good to be here, Dr. Stan. Good to be here. Great call. Um, I did uh, catch the last probably 40 minutes of it, 30 minutes, 35 or so, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I think it was a, it was a great um, way for people to just familiarize themselves with what Endotech really is. And um, just to add on to what you were saying in terms of this whole crowdfunding thing, I mean, like um, I've, uh, I'm, a, I'm a serial crowdfunder. 
Um, by that, Dr. Stan, I mean, like I'm, 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 I'm constantly on the hunt for companies to support, right? Um, and where I don't have to put a lot of money. And um, Endotech for me has been, well, through Daisy, has been one of the best ones because you, you immediately, you immediately t- uh, get to benefit whatever it is that they're creating, right? Um, and so the results go directly to you. Um, you talked a little bit about <clears throat> how um, we, we, we talk about the shares and we talk about having a piece of this. So if you really, um, you love Endotech and you love what it's doing, right? Um, one of the things that I've been doing, um, if you recall around two, three weeks ago, we had, we were talking about uh, Tandy's thing. And one of the questions was, well, how much are the shares going to be, right? And um, just to, we, we don't know what the share price is actually going to be when eventually it does list. We just don't know. However, what we do know, what we can kind of extrap- uh, extrapolate and kind of get value for, um, a value price for, is for people who are uh, pay setter leaders or pay setter goals, because there we've got a defined thing. We know um, that, you know, 5% of the business is going to go to them and they can decide it. All of us don't know what the actual price is, but we can come up with our own kind of um, projections. And so um, I think it's something that is worthwhile for us to explore as well. For me, I'll tell you, I love what the AI is doing, but Mr. Dr. Stan, I'm even more excited about the fact that we're actually going to own a portion of this business. Uh, those shares uh, keep me excited all the time. So yeah, apart from that, I think, I think that's, that's really it from my side. Uh, great training, Dr. Stan, breaking it down in the most simplest forms again, um, where everybody understands what, what this, all, uh, this is all about. So thank you very much. My pleasure. I, I already told the, the, the team here that Tandy the, the, the is already packed, ready for Dubai, and she's probably on her way to Dubai by now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bilal is already landed there, and so many other leaders have already landed in um, in Dubai a week earlier. Think about this: a value of a thing can only truly be realized or even estimated, or yeah, uh, by what one is willing to give up for it or pay for it. There are people who are paying to to be in Dubai a week earlier before the event and then they are going to be there another week after the event to catch the the bitcoin event on the 24th or 26th or something thereabouts no 27 whatever the people yeah, 27th who, and 28th 27 28th and we, i'm one of them <laughs> who, who i was about to say i was i was i was already gonna i was gonna already tell on you uh, and who is one of them she's staying over for uh, uh, extra. Why would people invest so much money to travel from South Africa to travel from? I have a person flying in from Sydney, Australia, a Kenyan diaspora, flying in from Sydney uh, in Australia to come to Dubai for such an event like this. And let me say uh, something about about this event. This event marks the launch of Daisy Africa. We're going to make so much noise as Team Simba. They're going to think all of Africa is here. We're going to sing South Africa. If you don't know South African, uh, uh, at least the first three lines of the South African uh, uh, national anthem. Because in Kelel, we're going to sing it loud. We're going to sing it long. We, 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 we got a professional camera person coming. We got, we got the camera works going. We, 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 we're gonna come together as a team with Team Simba, uh, uh, you know, T-shirts and everything. And, and we're gonna showcase and represent Africa, hopefully in a light that turns the attention to Africa and what Africa really is capable of. When we, when we take clips of where we are and, I'm sharing a few things for those who are attending the event in the chat group, uh, Simba in Dubai. If you're coming to Dubai, you do need to be on that chat group because we'll be sharing locations, we'll be sharing, let's meet here uh, on the 20th, 
uh, when we when we are when we have uh, come in and the halls the doorways have been open go grab your seat we have 2500 members so you want to be you know position yourself real good except for vip if you are pay setter yours is reserved if you are leader yours is reserved seating so you don't need to be in a rush but we want to be in place because they have all these daisy billboards and stuff like that and we're going to come together we're going to we're going to do some some clips you know some things we do for social media i mean really going to uh, we're going to you know do our best in putting our foot forward the right foot forward for africa and we want everybody on this team daisy team uh, simba team to be in the next event, there is that you cannot get the full import, the synergy in the room, the excitement, the electricity that will be in the room. You cannot get that or through a video. Of course, you will see and you will capture the images and you say, oh, I wish I was there. Listen, be there the next one. Make a promise to yourself. Make a decision to you uh, right now and say, you know what? The next one, as soon as they announce the tickets, I'm getting mine. Early bird tickets come the lowest price. I think I bought mine at $99, 99, about two. And um, uh, I know others bought a hundred. I know others bought, we, we're going, as soon as they announce, we're buying tickets like crazy. Why? Because an event will change you. An event will change you and change your fortunes. So make a decision that you will be in the next one when it is announced. <laughs> don't look for an excuse as to why you cannot go. You have a reason for you to, to go. So uh, whatever it takes, make it happen. But for those who are going to be there next weekend, boy, we got, we got excitement, girl. We got not just the information. We're going to do clips of Dubai. We're going to go by the Dubai mall. We're going to do some clips of the Burj Khalifa tallest building on the, all for Africa's sake, we're going to do a little something that will, you know, really, really begin, I, I believe, to not just shake up Africa, but wake up Africa. Wake up and let's get going. Even if it's $100, we are here representing you. We are in Dubai representing you. We are here showing you that you can trust this thing. You can trust us. And please, for goodness sake, don't go Google what I tell you. Why? Because you trust me as a friend. I'm your friend. Do you think I'll be lying to you? I'm your friend. You know I'm not a crook. <laughs> well, <laughs> only say that if you're not one. I know you're not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you can talk to your friends face to face and say, look, I was in Dubai. Do you think I went all that? I paid all that money to go play around. This thing is real. We have material that we can use to move this thing forward in Africa. And I I am so excited about um, Daisy and Africa and changing the financial fortunes of our people in Africa, of our people that have been shortchanged in a lot of things, always caught the short end of the stick in many things. Not this time round, not this time round. I mean, we are so fired up about it. We are not, it's not even funny. <laughs> Esther was, she had to go to run to another class. She was saying she's not eating. She's so excited about what is happening in, in the trip to Dubai and the people that she's, she's bringing along and the team she's making. I mean, this is, this is real. This is, this is the deal guys. And, and so uh, going forward from this event, uh, we, we should see an explosion in Africa. We should see uh, teams growing like wildfire. I mean, we are the largest continent. We are the most endowed continent. Whether it's human resources, whether it's other resources, we are the richest continent on the planet. And we must take our place on the table where Endotech is concerned, where Daisy is concerned. Let's be part owners of Endotech. Let's be part owners of, of whatever is happening after Daisy. Because guys, tell you what, I highlighted it again. Let me highlight, highlight it the last time. Because this is not the end of it. This is the start of it. And I am about to close. But before I close, let me highlight it again. It's just the start. We're talking about developing the number one artificial intelligence trading performer in all major markets. All major markets. So if you've been there during crypto and you crowdfunded crypto and it went the way it went, that was not the end of it. 
we have forex now and notice forex has not been given out or is not being shared out with everybody forex right now is the reserve of daisy members only ooh, ooh, ooh. i love it i love it i love it we are having the cake and eating it before before the world before it is offered to those institutions that will pay through their nose to use the daisy ai on endotech they will be paying and you and i are shareholders Come on, Jesus, help me out here. Because <laughs> when it comes to dividends, I think, uh, uh, did they say that last year it was, uh, Endotech was, was it 2.5 billion or what, what was it? A day, a number like that somewhere? Yes, it was. So initially when we started, the valuation of Endotech was a million, a hundred million, right? And so um, if, if, you, if you think about it, we were getting 5% for, um, for a crowdfunding contribution of around uh, 10, 10, 10 million, right? And then um, when we went to the first conference, the second conference, I can't remember, they had gotten offers which were between a billion dollars to one point, I mean, between 1 billion and 2.5 billion. Somebody was ready Just to pay. Somebody yeah, was somebody ready was willing to pay. to pay and they still get offers right now. In fact, those guys, if I remember correctly, we're offering them that they should actually just give back the crowdfunders the money and uh, that Dr. Anna should go with them. And she said, no, she's made a, she's made a call to be with us um, and do it through a crowd and empower everybody instead of a few. So that was amazing in itself. And also that talks to her integrity, right? Right. A lot of people, when you're trying to raise money for your business to expand and to for research and development, when somebody says, hey, I'm giving you a clean check right now, I'll give you this much, go take out your guys that you partnered with. Some people could be tempted, you know, but Dr. Anna said, no, I, I said, I'm going to do it with the crowd like this and I'm going to do it with the crowd like this. And I refuse to do that. So that just goes into integrity again. <clears throat> 100% yeah. high integrity and high, high integrity. dream of yeah. bringing to the man on the street yep. breakthrough financial opportunity, BFO. Yeah. And so it's not just Forex, guys, and it's not just crypto. It's not just dividends. There are other opportunities that will add to your asset base. That is why I was saying, grow yourself, think assets, think what is earning people right now, today, not when we are counting sheep and goat, but today, the asset basis where you are an, uh, listen, you are, a, uh, you, 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 you enjoy what is called um, FMA, fast movers advantage. You are a fast mover. And you, those who move first, always have an advantage. You are one of those early adapters before everybody rushes in. Like I said, Forex AI is not available to anybody else except DAISY members who are funding Endotech to develop that Forex AI. Nobody else is seeing 664%. Nobody else except these members. And guess what? There'll be other, other asset categories that are being that are going to be announced. Condition and open your mind to think bigger. Think bigger and then add knowledge, add value to yourself. Uh, grow yourselves, dig out information from the right sources. That is why I hang out with people who know what they're talking about, like Vu and Bilal, you know, people who like and Mo Kumasi, people who understand the industry and have been in the industry for, for years. Jeremy, Edward, uh, um, Ilya, people who, who not only have uh, the experience, but they also have the vision of where they want to go. And then they have the integrity, like uh, Vu said, they have the integrity to bring it to full fruition. We are bringing this baby all the way through to fruition. And they have proven over and over and over again how committed they are, how steadfast they are to developing this thing all the way to the end 
no matter the challenges or no matter the offers, the enticing offers that they may be getting. So it is so important that you and I become not only fully, fully persuaded, become full believers in what Daisy Endotech is doing, but we also add knowledge to uh, what it is that we have. The opportunity is Endotech. That is the company. And when you show people who is partnering with, uh, with Endotech, who is in Endotech, the, the performance they've been doing, even though past performance does not guarantee future profits or future results, but boy, look at what they've been doing. And look, even with all this, because transparent they are, they even tell you how many months they lost. Whoever told you I lost so, so much? No, they talk about all the wins. Most times other companies tell you, you know, they won this, won this. Nobody ever comes and tells you we lost 14 months or we lost 16 months, yet we are in profit three three thousand percent because it's algo trading is a fintech company that is who point more to endotech but remember endotech is a trade name so do not use it to advertise do not use it to uh, uh, draw people uh, talk about an opportunity come let's talk about it then th they can read it for themselves on the website other than that Vu, I know there is a lot of questions about security. We will cover security after we come back from Dubai because next week there will be no Zoom call because guess what? We will be in Dubai. Hello, anyone who's coming to Dubai is going to be an incredible, incredible uh, experience. So uh, uh, Zoom call next, next Sunday is not going to be on because we're going to be in Dubai, probably be in the queue. Uh, uh, as we pre-register, uh, uh, but we're going to be back the week after so that we can debrief and then we can bring out all the goodies and break down and we have all our leaders there. Now we have somebody's hand up. Let me get my glasses on here. Yeah, we'll, ha we'll take questions. So if at all you have a, a quick question, we're happy to take that. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, ask, oops, sorry, wrong one. Where is she going to? Please put your hand up again. Sorry, you, I, I, I clicked the wrong button. There you go. I wanted to click that one, asking you to unmute. Sorry about that, Mary Gold. Hello, Dr. Sam. Good, good evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for that amazing training. I feel like I'm in church today with all the knowledge that you've given us on this, um, this training. Um, I have a quick question. It's for one of my prospects. Uh, she was asking if you guys think that uh, they might extend the momentum pack one more time. Uh, I know you don't have a definite answer to that, but I just wanted to gather your thoughts. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, uh, like you're, you're very, you're very right about that. I, I, we do not have a, a definitive yes or no. What I do think, this is my own opinion. I may be wrong, and um, I've been known to be wrong before, so it will not be a, a surprise <laughs> for me to be wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally think that this is this is the last time they they do that uh, for this for this particular thing, because there's so okay. much else going forward that. Uh, uh, you know, and you can, and you already see we are way past 300 million in life trading already. And correct, the, correct. The, goal, the goal is 500 million. We are past 300 million already. So, uh, unless who uh, has had something that I haven't, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that they're going to be extending this. We, we, we all, uh, we, how did, how did Jim Brown say it? We all must suffer the pain of either. Uh, the pain of discipline or the, the pain of regret. And he says the pain of discipline is less than the pain of regret. Uh, I know it's a push. I know it's, it, it's quite a, a push to get that promo going, but uh, whatever discipline one needs to make to make it happen, then I would say that pain will be less than the pain of regret. Because when, when people begin to see uh, the performance of what uh, <laughs> we're already seeing 664 and we are 10 months in, what happens uh, in two years? What happens in right. two years? 
So the pains of regret always outweigh the pains of discipline. And all we do is discipline, uh, sacrifice. Nobody is having, you know, a pot of cash lying around, you know, idly, you know, waiting for something. You no, know, every every one of us uh, has had to make sacrifices, make make uh, you know adjustments, make uh, disciplined moves, and whatever has one has to do. Uh, Correct. So that, that I, I would say. Uh, count it as if this is the last one. That's how I, I would approach it. Unless we okay. something else. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll definitely get back to her and let her know that. I also want to wish you and Vu uh, safe travels when you guys leave for the event um, for Dubai. I wanted to make sure I say that. I'm unable to make it for this one, but I'm definitely, definitely not going to miss the one for next year. And, and guys, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, Wu. I, I saw, I saw Wu. Ooh, I was going to agree with you, Dr. Stan, and say, so far, from what we know, <clears throat> is that um, it's not going to be extended, but we never know. We don't know what they're going to announce when they get there. But Dr. Stan is right. It's better to, to plan as if they are ending it versus uh, planning on thinking that they'll extend it because we don't know that for sure. 100%. With that, ladies and gentlemen, unless there's any other question I'm looking out, I'm seeing, uh, I see Kenneth, Kenneth uh, uh, will give it another five minutes. So if you have a question, just shoot up your hand and I'll ask you to unmute. Kenneth, Alexander. All right. I don't, I don't really have a question. I just want to piggyback on what you said. Good presentation. Um, I would like to say I've been in Daisy since since the beginning, since the since the launch in January 2021, and I would say from my experience, I didn't know anything about crypto. I didn't know anything about trading. I didn't know anything about nothing. So what I'm saying to you is, listen to what uh, I can't remember what um, Dr. Stan is saying. You want to gain that knowledge. You want to gain a don't just look at what uh, Daisy is doing or, um, or anything like that. What you want to learn is you want to absorb the knowledge so you can benefit more and gain that knowledge more so that way you can put yourself in a better position and, and um, put, align yourself in a better position. And also if you're sharing with other individuals that will help you to give that information as well and to teach them you know, moving forward and how they can maximize or um, they, you know, maximize their earning, um, the, pot the potential of what Daisy can do. You know, don't just look at Daisy, look at the company behind the Daisy, look at the individuals behind the Daisy, and then you will see, you will, you will have more of clarity of what, um, what, what this, this uh, opportunity is about. That's all I got to say. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. We really appreciate that. I mean, it's uh, affirmation. And um, Kenneth's been in in this longer than I have. Uh, I uh, I was uh, Daisy V two, you know, version two, March that is That that's when uh, we 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 got on. Uh, we are about to bring it to a close. So we'll give it a, another another minute. If at all uh, you have a quick question or a quick uh, contribution. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, I see a lot of uh, people who are already on this call who are going to Dubai. So uh, I'll, I'll put this in the Simba in Dubai chat group, but please learn the first three lines of South Africa's national anthem and the first three lines of the Kenyan national anthem. We're gonna, be we're gonna belt it out. And I'm talking about belt it out. We're gonna make some noise for Africa. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, dress codes and stuff like that. And like I said, we're going to do some clips and we've got a professional coming in uh, to do uh, 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 that part of things. We're going we're gonna to be professional and represent Africa the right way. And, and, and so if at all you are, and I see some of you that are going to be in Dubai, please, in the next couple of days, uh, pay close attention to Simba in Dubai chat group. 
All right, I see like we are all set. I see like we are all good with that. Let me acknowledge every single one of you. I really, really appreciate you being on this call tonight. And uh, please be informed, inform your teams. There will not be a call next Sunday because of the Dubai event. We are going to be in Dubai. But the Sunday after, we are going to be having a call, a debrief of the event and an, a highlight of all the goody goodies, the announcements and everything that will be brought to us uh, through this event. You don't want to miss that one. It's just going to be incredible. I know that uh, you're going to be tuning in uh, to the Dubai event uh, by the uh, Daisy official YouTube channel where they upload all the teachings and trainings we'll be doing a, a recap we'll be doing a debrief uh, of what uh, especially the things that we we are running with uh, and breaking it down and having a q a uh, that will be right after the dubai event uh, we're going to do that the following Sunday. In the meantime, can I say how much I appreciate all the leaders that are here, every single one of you, you are a leader, you're leading yourself, first of all, and then you're leading others uh, where this uh, opportunity uh, is concerned. So thank you so much for being so diligent, being so committed, being so disciplined, and the time that you invest in yourself in being on this platform, we Absolutely appreciate you, acknowledge you. We do not take it for granted. Uh, uh, upward is the way we are going. We have been doing so in Daisy, and uh, by the grace of God, we shall continue to do that. I uh, wish you all a very good week. I will miss you next Sunday. Maybe not so much because I'll be having fun in Dubai. But hey, hey, like she said, she's not missing the next one. Make that your determination. You shall not miss the next one. Come, let's be one big family, have a big party in Dubai in 2024. Love you. Appreciate you. God bless you all. Have a very good night. Bye-bye for now.